Hey guys, guess what we're going to do today? I got a 1974 Magnum Garton. This is my favorite hunting bow you guys always hear me talk about, but it's actually a little noisy. These limbs have to be really wide, they have to be really flat, and they have to be very, very thin to bend back to give you 28 inches uh, of draw when they're so short. The limbs themselves are only about 19 inches long, and that makes them noisy. So we're going to figure out how to put these little wishbones on and that's actually kind of a tricky thing so that's what I'm going to show you today in Voltland Outdoors but first the intro okay we're back we're back guys and the object is that the, you've got these little wishbone string vibration dampers that you want to put on but they got to get somehow wrapped around like that they got to get wrapped around the string and if you see other people trying to put these on even the manufacturers they kind of fumble i'm going to show you the technique that i use that works pretty well let me put this up first right up here on the top and you guys can see here's what you're going to do in a nutshell you start off putting the loop part of it on a pair of needle nose pliers then you're going to bring the string right here you're going to bring the string up and you're going to reach this around open the pliers up grab it like that and the string is going through like this then we're going to get a fork yeah a fork a regular common house fork and we're going to stretch this material up and pull it around and over this little this bigger end that keeps everything together that's what's going to happen, only you're going to see it in a close-up. Let's go give it a try. And yet another thing that works well, get the thing wet before you use it. So here we are. Let's see if I can sit up right there. And I got to get my fork. There's my fork. Here we go. Let's see if this works. I'm going to put this... There's a right way and a wrong way that you can line this up, everybody. Let's move this around. There, that looks pretty good. If you put it so that the, the lock part is on the same side as the loop, you are going to be absolutely miserable because you've got to try to pull this through the loop, and then you've got to get this, this lock part, all the way around the string and then through the loop, which is absolutely miserable. So instead, what you're going to do is put it on this side first. And then it's just a question of actually t bending and stretching the loop and pulling it over the rest of the stuff instead of pulling the pulling instead of pulling the two tag lines through instead of trying to pull that big knobby thing the, the lock through you're pulling the loop around the top of the other things so here's what it looks like and it goes pretty fast you're going to see me open up the pliers grab both ends of the tag and give them a good squeeze. So I'm holding on really tight like there. Now I go in with the fork, stretch it up good, pull it all the way around, done. Just like that. Ha! Can you even believe it? Let's try it on the other one. Get it in right about here. Lick it first. Mm -hmm. Get her a little slimy. See if that's right about there. Going to loop, slide the loop onto the needle nose. Slide the needle nose and that little lock so that the, the lock is on one side of the string already, the side that's going to go through. Open the pliers up. Grab both tips. Grab both of those tags. Reach over, stab the loop with your fork, pull it all the way over. Oops. And there it comes through, just like that. Let go, and you're all done. Then you can just slide this whole thing up and down in order to, to find the right sweet spot. So the end result, in just a few seconds without any fighting, I ended up putting my vibration dampers on that bowstring. Super fast, super easy. 
Hope you guys enjoyed that little video. Hope you give it a try. The wishbone string vibration dampers actually work really well. I use them in addition to my beaver balls. I like them that much. And the goal is that I have to try to figure out how to dampen the face, these limbs. They're, they're gonna get their own dampers. Uh, limb savers are supposed to arrive today, so you'll find out more about it. Hope you enjoyed that little indoors while it's rainy outside, miserable kind of weather lesson for how to put string dampers on. This is Mark Vogt with Voltland Outdoors. I'm almost at 400 subscribers. I'm nearly viral, but I still have five, 6,000 views. 650 hours viewing a month from the people, even if they're not subscribing. So I'm super wicked excited by all of that. Got my orange hat ready to go in and bow hunt alongside the muzzle loaders. And we'll see you out there. Bye.